Hey, I'm Courtney Waterman, your tutor. Lover of anime, manga, and math. And you just tuned into another session of Tutor Me Senpai. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're jumping into an eighth grade topic, the sum of interior angles of a triangle. As always, if there's any questions, feel free to put them in the comment box below. If you have questions about your own homework, remember you can visit me on Facebook at Tutumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. When you find this video helpful, remember to leave a like, hit the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, and share this video with a friend. Well, without further ado, let's jump into our question for today. So today we have these three triangles, and you will notice that each of these three triangles has an X for one of the angles. So we want to find out what that X is given the other two interior angles. If this seems a little confusing, no worries. There's actually one fact that you need to know that makes all of this rather simple. And that fact is... The sum of interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. So what does that mean? Well, if you take your three angles and you add them all up, the measure of angle one, measure of angle two, and measure of angle three, you add all of them up, you are always going to get 180 degrees. It doesn't matter what these angles are, if they're angles within a triangle, they're always going to sum up to 180 degrees. So using this one fact, we're gonna easily find what these other angles are for these three triangles. Starting with this first triangle, we have one angle, whose measure is 60 degrees. We have another angle whose measure is 40 degrees. And we have one more angle whose measure we don't know. So we're denoting it with an X. We wanna find this X. And to do that, we're gonna use the fact that all of these angles, when added up together, have to be 180. So that's 60 plus 40 plus this X has to equal 180. So we add this up. So we have 100 plus x equals 180. And you can kind of figure out what this is from looking at it, but let's subtract 100 from both sides. So we get x equals 180 minus 100. So x has to be 80, 80 degrees. This last angle is 80 degrees. That is our answer for the first triangle. So you see, knowing that all of them added up together has to be 180 really simplifies finding out what this X has to be for each of these triangles. Let's look at the second one. So this second one has one measure. So our first angle is gonna be 35 degrees. And our second one, second measure, is going to be 50 degrees. And our third one, we don't know what that is. Once again, we're gonna give it an X. So the sum of all these have to be 180, so we're gonna do 35. And I'm dropping off the degree right now because we don't necessarily need the degree when we're adding this up. But for our final answer, we gotta make sure we're putting these degrees back. So that's 35 plus 50 plus this X equals 180. 35 plus 50 gives us 85 plus X equals 180. We're going to subtract 85 from both sides. So that's X equals 180 minus 85. So what is X? Well, X is going to be 95. Our final X here, final angle, is 95 degrees. Notice I put the degree back in here. We wanna make sure everything is in degrees. And something I didn't do for the first one, so we can kind of do that really quickly, is let's check our math. We're gonna add all these up and make sure that they actually do equal 180. So you have your 35, we have your 50, and we have your 95. And when you're adding all these up, that gives you 10, carry that over, one plus is nine is 10, three plus five, eight, so that gives you the 18, hinge your 180. And going back to our first one, that was 60 plus this 40 plus the 80, and that's 10, that's 8, 18, once again it checks out. So make sure you're always checking your work. Even if it's really simple, make sure you don't miss anything. Check your work, everything should add up. So let's look at this third one, our final triangle for today. Our first measure that we see here, measure of angle one is 60 degrees. 
Now we have this other angle that we know it's a right angle, right? We have that box, which lets us know it's going to be a right angle. What is the measure of a right angle? So they don't write it here, but we know that the measure of a right angle has to be 90 degrees. Has to. So if you see that box, they don't actually give you a number, that's an understood 90 degrees. And then the measure of our third angle, we don't know what that is, so we're going to give it an x. So 180 has to be the sum of all the angles. So we're once again adding all of this, plus x equals 180. We add these two together, we get 150 plus x equals 180, and then we have x equals 180 minus 150, so x has to be 30. But let's check it. Let's check it before we actually replace this x, let's make sure our math is correct. 60 plus 90 plus 30, zero, right? This right here gives us the 15, that right there gives us 18, Everything looks like it checks out, 180. So our final angle here is 30 degrees. Once again, notice I put the degree back after the math is done. Make sure you don't forget that crucial step because these angles have to be in degrees. So our final answer for our final triangle is 30 degrees. So I hope you're able to follow on today's examples. Now remember, it might seem a little confusing at first, but as long as you remember that if you have the other two angles, it's very easy to find that third one. The sum of all your angles have to be 180. So add up the other two angles, subtract it from 180, and you have your missing angle. If you had any questions about what you saw here today, remember you can put them in the comment box below, or visit me on Facebook, at TutorMeSenpai, especially if you have questions about your own homework. If you haven't done so already, remember to leave a like, hit the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, and share this video with a friend who can use the help. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I really hope this helped with your homework, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Courtney, and this has been another session of Tutor Me Senpai.